Welkom bij jullie speciale rechtstreekzijde. This has been Africa Good Morning. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's focus. Now that you know what we're about, meet the team. This is NTV. This is NTV. This is NTV. This is NTV. You might have heard by now, we are now also broadcasting on DSTV. Welcome back. And I believe this would be our first ever tourist with Namibia show that is going live on the channel. En uh, om je weg te springen, ik denk al die uh, om Namibia zijn stories en zijn mensen zijn stories te vertellen, was nog altijd deel van die DNS van Namibia Media, al dinks van meer dan 40 jaar. En Roger, bij jullie maakt plaatselijke inhoud uh, ook al hoe meer uh, verschil. Uh, so al wie om te beginnen bij jou, hoe pas net, uh, netwerk TV bij die concepten? Ik denk dat Daniel ons het jaren terug beseft dat. Ons het een rijkdom van lezers, um, ons het een rijkdom van uh, mensen wat naar ons wil kijken en ons het baie gedoen op sociale media, maar ons het besef, televisie is een kritische deel van haar kijkdeel. En ik denk net ook televisie of net ook TV is een aanbeweeg van die concept van visual engagement. So ons is baie trots om deel van um, netwerk televisie te wees en saam met Multichoice te mebie te wees om die stories nie net te vertellen, nie, maar ook te zien. Hallo en welkom bij nog een episode van Blitzfokus. Turn it with all these swimmers from the very... Mangwana ni mwanele po vuken jani teikwas vanave Afrika. Welcome to Africa. Good morning. Nou ja, vandagse onderhoud is koffiekultuur op sy heel beste. Good evening and welcome to the evening review. My name is Sukhane Klache. Welcome ladies and gentlemen and my fellow car enthusiasts to another exciting edition of My Dot Nakas. My name is Okito Greggs. Ja, eerstens wil ik net van die geleendheid gebruik maak om vir Network TV onder die leiding van Albi baie geluk te wens met die groot dag. Um, um, dit is uh, groot gebeurtenis in Namibie. Uh, dit is die vierde um, plaatselijke kanaal, die televisiekanaal wat ons launch op DSTV en GoTV. En dit is een groot mylpaal vir enig uh, kanaal om, om, om ook op uh, die, ons platform te wees. Uh, ons is baie opgewonde, want ons het um, met Albi in die spanning al twee jaar achter die skerms gewerk en ons weet dat hulle een ongelooflike line-up of content het en, en daarvoor is ons baie blij om vandaag hier te kunnen wees met die launch en ons wil vir hulle net alles daar te toewens met, met, uh, met die kanaal voor en toe. Roger, exactly how will this partnership work? So the partnership basically means that we as multi-choice um, have got the platforms, we have um, technology in place to be able to distribute content, not only here in Namibia, but across the continent, the African continent and elsewhere. So what basically happens is we provide the, 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 the platform, the DSTV platform, the GoTV platform, and later on in this week or early next week, we will also have the channel live on our DSTV streaming app. So basically our role in this whole relationship is to provide the platform and then to get content providers onto the platform. Content providers like Network TV. I think we've been, uh, we've been very long in the game of telling the story. Um, as you rightly said, we've been doing this over 40 years. Uh, and our sister newspaper, Ogamana, citing over 100 years. 
So we've got a lot of practice in telling the story. Um, for us, it's this evolution of media from just um, writing about it in our daily newspapers to now visualizing it. Um, and so you, um, you can either reinvent the wheel or work in partnership with someone that's really got an unbelievable network like Multi-Choice Namibia that has uh, understood what works and doesn't work. And so it's for us a natural partnership to work with them, given that they have the, the distribution network and we have the content. Het is al die boote uitvoerende hoofd van Namibia Media Holdings op die kletsbank. Want hou jy nog een jaar gelede in die atelier, voor ons by die eerste vraag kom? Ja, en ja, Roger het vir ochtend vir my sms gestuur en vir my baie geluk gesê vir die eerste jaar. En, en het eerst geluk toe ek die sms kry, toe kom al hy uh, gedagtes terug. Ja, het was, het was een wonderlijke ochtend. Um, ek moet eerlijk wees, ek het ek gedink, ons gaan rarig soveel bereik as wat ons bereik het. Die mens het die mens verstaan wat jy wil doen en mens te span wat jy goed doen. En dan een jaar later, dan is dit net, ja, ja nee, dit is ongelooflik daar nie. Op Netwerk TV is die eerste verjaardag. Jy weet, wat het ons bereik en wat het ons ook geleer in die proces? Kijk, as, as mens oor netwerk televisie praat, dan, dan, dan is het natuurlijk hoe ons technologie gebruik het om, om kost effectief te wees en om goed recht te kry en om, om, om een hele kanaal te hardloop van een van van laptop af. Maar eindelijk is dit die historie van netwerk televisie. Die historie van netwerk televisie is rarig hoe ons in die gemeenskap ingegaan het en mense sy stories vertel het. Um, van, van die president sy stories tot, tot iemand wat net koekies pak. Jy weet, en ek dink, dit het ons ongelooflik recht gekry in die laatste 12 maanden om in die gemeenskap in te gaan, in die hele land vol, van die verre noorde tot die verre syde, en in soveel tale is moendlik, um, waarvan een groot deel Afrikaans was. En ek dink, dis die deel wat ek onderskat het, is hoe ons soveel wonderlijke stories kon vertel het in die laatste jaar. Dit was erg wonderlik. Maar ek dink ook, mys het lomp lesse geleer, jy weet, en En, en consistency, ek weet wat die recht Afrikaanse woord is, 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 is een kritische deel daarvan, en ons het plomfoute gemaakt. Um, maar ek moet erken, ons het vinnig geleer, en ons het baie beter uitgekom. En, um, maar maar dit is ene om die ding een dag te doen, nee. um, maar het is ander ding om die dag in en dag uit te doen, en week in en week uit, en maand in en maand uit, en soos let's kompas, jaar in en jaar uit. Um, dit is, let's, let's, is een dagelijkse program, ons doen het elke liewe dag, 
um, daar is nie so iets nie. Daar is nie nog so program op televisie wat dagelijks te doen nie. Daar is nie. Um, ek kan het werkelijks doen, maar dagelijks. So, so dit is iets wat uniek is van ons program. Klets is een van hulle. So ja, dit was iets wonderlijks. Nou ja, uh, jy is een suiverman van, van Jering. Nee. So, hoeveel programma het ons spes- specifiek, want jy het uh, nommers oor programma en ja. ure en als ek goed. So, so ons, ons haak loop die ure dag oorspronkelijk inhoud, um, wat iets wonderlijks is, soos mys televisie verstaan as 24 uur, um, en, en so jy probeer in daar 24 uur soveel as moeilijk doen, maar of, of kost herhaal die programma, so ons werk hard daarin om 10 uur oorspronkelijk inhoud te heen elke dag, um, waarvan so uur, uur en een halve dag Afrikaans is, en natuurlijk herhaal ons alles rond die 3 na 4 uur dag Afrikaans, bijvoorbeeld van die 24 uur. Maar in, in die jaar, um, begin alles met inzet, so ons het 15.000 uur as een productietijd gehad, om alles te maak wat ons wil gehad het. Dit is nie net ek en jy wat hier sit, hier is mense achter die camera's, um, achter die stoele, um, om goed te edit en so aan. So ja, ons het oor die 15.000 uur, ons het 2.500 uur so oorspronkelijke inhoud geskep die jaar, um, ons doen oor die 60 uur een week oor oorspronkelijke inhoud. Um, en, 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 en ek dink wat belangrijk is, is, is ons werk harde aan om het kost effectief te doen. Jy kan nie in die gemeenskap wees in die uithoeken van die land um, um, tegen 3000 rand een minuut nie. Um, jy moet het doen tegen 3000 rand een uur. En, en, en dit, dit, dit skep een ander som in ons wereld wat ons recht gekry het. En ek dink dit is iets wat ons baie, baie goed gedoen het. Natuurlijk is, kan jy beter wees, Maar als een fijn balans tussen om die story oor te dra en om kost effectief te wees. En mens moet hy balans sê. En vooral in die land soos nummer B, want ons is nie die rijkste land op waarde nie. Maar ek dink die belangrijkste cijfer van allemaal is, is dat ons soveel oorspronkelijke ure kon spandeer het met mense, mense like om op TV te wees. Um, en, en dit het hulle gesien. Baie, ons het oor die 500 uur so oorspronkelijke sport gehad. En soos ek sê, ons het 2.500 uur so oorspronkelijke. Mense like om op TV te wees en ons kon het recht kry, en, en, en ek denk, dis wat ek nie besef het, ek begin het nie. We went in. We went in. We never came out. Struggle kids, at, sorry. It's gonna be so cool. You see, Michelle, I, I try to change things about my daughter and the cars, because we can see so much, but seeing so little. So it's all about angles to me. <laughs> What was the, the, the whole idea behind establishing a, a TV station? I know, I mean, everybody knows NMH owns Namibian Sun, Republican, Agamene Zeitung, and other small, smaller publications, very critical, but only smaller in size, really. But, um, uh, you know, ev- evolving from print into this space of television. So I think, I think if you look at the media landscape, and this is not news, um, this is reality, is that the concept of being in any specific medium um, is very much old school. And, and we've seen in the last 10 years how, how the communication has all become, um, we're all in the same space. Um, yeah. Traditionally, some of us were in print and some of us in television and some of social media. Um, but more and more on radio, more and more we're finding that we're all coming together. And, and it's really about the concept of a multimedia engagement. You know, we have audiences that some of us like reading on newspapers, like myself, mm-hmm. others like being more visually inclined. And um, so where television or NTV comes in is, is that, that next step of visualization. We've been doing a lot of stuff on social media for many years now. I mean, even in review was on social media before it was on NTV, mm-hmm. and it still has a very strong following on social media. But what television does is it, it brings a lot more structure to the strategy, and, and it sort of bonds. It's a bit like, um, you know, you can bring out a newspaper whenever you want to, but if you need to know if you have to do it every day, it, it brings a sense of urgency, mm. consistency, and that's what NTV did for us. It brought a consistency to us 
as a group, but to our readers and viewers as well, that on a daily basis we're visually inclined to share our stories. Um, you know, research has shown people uh, react to visual communication a lot stronger than, um, than they used to in the past. And, and I think ultimately it was technology, because technology allowed us to be a lot more cost effective. Without mm -hmm. that, the cost of producing something on traditional satellite television was so high, it was just not possible. Yeah. And a very few privileged individuals or institutions could afford it. And w with technology that we're using now, we were able to be cost effective in getting that message across. Absolutely. And, and I suppose the, I mean, you just m mentioned how the group NMH was very much invested in uh, social media broadcasts. Uh, so, so is NTV sort of the strategy now to, to have a, a one-stop shop for all these productions to be, you know, in, in one basket? So ultimately, yes, that's it from a visual perspective. As, as much as we have that absolute discipline, consistency and creativity, because without creativity, uh, you don't move forward. And how we handled print media, we took that concept and that same format and we went on to online media with that same message, same format. Um, what, what NTV does is, is it creates that consistency, creativity, um, for television, mm -hmm. but then taking it to social media. I mean, it's it's fair to say that the end game is, is digitalization and that we'll all be on one platform, it's called digital television, yeah. digital communication, um, and that we'll smile that we still refer to things, traditional television or paper or radio. Yeah. We'll all be on the same media. Um, and, and TV is just part of that collective messaging. I think we, we, we've put ourselves in boxes many years ago because it made sense, but Ultimately, whoever the communities are that we engage mm. want to get a message. And some of us want to get it in paper format, but others want to be visually inclined. And I think NTV has really worked well for us in that regard. The cost of digitalization in terms of digital data, yeah, it's, it's, it, our country is very competitive, give all the role players that play there uh, a tap on the back. We can't, but it still costs a lot of money. Whereas on NTV, the cost is extremely low. Um, mm. So, so we, we get, we get large volumes of, of sharing of information at a fraction of the cost that you would have to pay if you had to. I mean, I always smile when you look at the comments on social media, you know, this program is too long, it's eating up all my data. <laughs> yeah. well, we understand that. Yeah. But, but when you're watching on television, there's no data to be eaten yeah. up. So um, short and sweet sorted, but if you want to give a show like um, Evening Review, I've never done, done the maths, but I wonder what an Evening Review show costs in, yeah. in terms of data. Yeah. And we've recognized that some of us have access to Wi-Fi and all the rest, but not all of us have that privilege. And I know sales television is sometimes a bit expensive, but it's not over time as expensive right now still. But over time you'll see that the cost of digitalization will come less and less, and then yes, we will wonder what television was in terms of satellite. This morning in studio, I am joined by a man who has done it all, an artistic jack of all trades, two-time NAMA host and an NTV presenter. Please help me welcome my friend, my colleague and talent extraordinaire, Ashwin Berry. <laughs> you know I had to say that we are friends so that, yeah, you know, well. association, <laughs> yeah. someone has to hire me because I'm friends with no, you. That was more for me. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling right? Good. Yeah, yeah. Walk us through your journey as a presenter. Mm. In yeah. general, I mean, um, I started uh, with one of the broadcasting companies uh, known in this country for about five years. Yeah. Um, after that, I took a bit of a break. I was focused more on theatre, putting on creative shows, but I was still performing, still on stage. Mm -hmm. um, then, of course, uh, Mr. Fenske called me in to do Africa Good Morning in yeah. 2020, and I haven't looked back since because then last year NTV came about, mm -hmm. and uh, it's all just been unfolding as time goes on. Yeah. Currently, you present for you know NTV. Mm -hmm. Why do you love this brand so much? Mm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I've always been one for the little guy. I've, I've always been a person who acknowledges the bravery it takes to start something when there's a lot that's already been pre-established. Mm. And that's something I like to do. And, and I'm a very competitive person. Um, and being a competitive person, I don't like an easy win. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's what I like about NTV. You know, it's been very brave in, mm. in, in the way that it's been doing uh, its work. Not just, you know, broadcasting shows. You know, I've been doing sports commentary as well, covering yeah. swimming, horse riding 
studying a lot of rugby, football. Uh, so for me, that's that's just, I, I like the spirit of, of wanting to create a new standard, making sure that Namibians and of course Africans have access to, you know, more than just one media house mm. because we have more than one story to tell. Oh, beautiful. Now, you know, NTV is turning one today mm -hmm. and we are all celebrating Absolutely. as NTV presenters. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the highlights mm -hmm. of your stay uh, working for NTV? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first one is, uh, I mean, Africa Good Morning is part of NTV. So mm. the first highlight I'll go with is uh, our first episode together mm. okay. on Africa Good Morning. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll start there because, you know, that's where the, the entire journey started. Um, then, of course, there was the NTV birthday, which I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed commentating for the Valviches. I've been a big rugby fan. I was a fan of the Valviches mm. uh, for years and years prior to even being able to, to watch them play. Um, yeah, some, those are some of the moments that have stood out we've had some incredible acts some good um uh you know interviews but yeah. I, I ultimately any moment i get to sit down you know with my peers like yourself and mm. you know translate relevant stories to namibians is a good day on it not to forget all the you know nda functions with all that nice food oh yeah <laughs> girl <laughs> with highlights come low lights yes do you have any low lights um it's, it's difficult for me to register something um, as, an, as a low light because I'm, I find myself in a position where I've worked hard enough to be endlessly optimistic, which mm. means that I always assume that even when things don't go well, they're going to work out mm. for me. And because NTV is a brand that just started about a year ago, I understand that there's a lot of steps that need to be taken and there's a lot of mistakes along the way. So mm. it's growing pains. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that um, there's been a, a dip because um, you know every dip has essentially been a lesson, yeah. which is just... Um, you know, leading us towards our trajectory, which right now still looks very good. And like Rihanna says, mm. never a lesson, never a failure. Never, always a lesson. Always, always a, a lesson. lesson. Yeah. Now, finally, before I let you go, mm. what do you want to accomplish with your brand going forward? Um, I mean, my whole idea um, has been uh, if a small Namibian child can look at me and feel like every single skill within them deserves a stage, deserves mm. a light, um, I've done my job. So I, I think if I can get more people to want to be presenters, of course I want people to watch TV, yeah. but ultimately I want to inspire people to be the best version of themselves and not to limit themselves. We spoke about all the things I've done differently, TV yeah. is one of them, and I want Namibians to know that you can do it all, and of course NTV is a platform that helps make that happen. Awesome, now that I know that I can do it all, <laughs> and I've learned from the best to be the best. <laughs> Ashwin, thank you so much for joining us on Smell the Coffee. Thank you very much for having me. Sharing information is nothing else than telling a story. And yes, there are different ways of telling a story. And yes, we can grow and become more creative in how we tell our stories. But most importantly, it is to carry on telling the story. So we will be able to tell to our country, to our community, over two and a half thousand hours of original stories. Stories of the millions, whether it's in the sports field, or whether it's a lady trying to make up. 660 people got it right. Can you believe that? They got it right, and the answer was Clint Commerce. That was the very first show on NTV. Now, just going through the tally over here, Active Kids got 467 votes, which means we're not just making an impact to the adults, but also with the kids. Evening Review had the most votes. And I think this is owing to Toyo being unreasonably handsome. So, I'll be. What, what's next? To have a well 